Bill, thank you. Nebraskans try to stay as safe as they can while stuck in the middle of war-torn Israel. The death toll continues to rise on both sides of the fighting. With the danger high, many airlines are suspending flights in and out of the country. Newswatch 79's Jess Cristiato spoke to an Omaha couple stuck in Jerusalem. We did not imagine anything like this happening. Caught in the middle of a war. Omaha resident Gammy Varga and her boyfriend Dawson Barchers sitting on their hostel's roof to talk to me, recounting their harrowing experience over the weekend as chaos erupted. We started hearing blasting and then all of a sudden, like, what sounded like air raid sirens went off. Luckily, the two 20-ish year olds are in relatively safe Jerusalem. They've got flights out for Thursday after their first one got canceled. The Consul General of Israel to the Midwest tells me they're working round the clock to gather information for families here who may have loved ones impacted by the war. Names, photos, anything. Among the casualties, there are at least 11, uh, 14, sorry, 14 American citizens. And we also know that there's American citizens among the hostages in the Gaza Strip. In Omaha, religious leaders at the Chabad of Nebraska saying the pain is very deep. Several families with them have direct ties to Israel, some unable to reach their loved ones, shocked by images of brutality and destruction. I've seen lots of tears. I've seen lots of tears and uh, helplessness and all those type of expressions and hope, hope that you know, those that are kidnapped will be released. While things have been tense, both Varga and Barchers want their families and friends to know that they're okay and that they'll be seeing them soon. So we're glad that we're in Jerusalem and then just trying to think about like the positive and getting out and lots of prayer and not dwelling on all of the stuff that could potentially happen. That's Josh Christiansen reporting.